Hello, good morning, good evening, and welcome to Big World Cinema. Without further ado, we'll continue with what you're here for. And to ensure this channel survives, please don't skip the ads. Thank you. I've probably been on all the dating apps in the Philippines at some point. In this video, I'll be giving a breakdown of the dating websites I use for free and how I rate them. Before I arrived in the Philippines, I signed up to Filipino Cupid for a month to check the lay of the land. The best thing about Filipino Cupid was the search tool where Filipinas rated their best feature. So I searched for those who ticked my chest as their best feature, which came up with some very interesting profiles. Before I arrived in the Philippines, I set up a date with Cassandra for when I arrived in Cebu. It was my second night in the Philippines. Said she was coming with her sister. They were two hours late, obviously. When they arrived outside the bar in IT Park, Cassandra didn't look like the photos in her profile. In fact, she'd used her prettier sister's photographs. There's a lot of scammers on this website, said Cassandra, smiling. So Filipino Cupid was a disappointment and I didn't renew my subscription. I also had a look at Christian Filipina, which wasn't great either, although I know some guys who met their partners there. The free website I did like was Date in Asia, which was where I met my first Filipina girlfriend. The best thing about Date in Asia is being able to have instant conversations with girls without needing to match. And there's no limit to how many conversations you can have. Although you are restricted to five messages every 24 hours until you validate your email address. After we'd split up, I went back on Date in Asia. And after a short time, they closed my account. No warning, just closed it. If you upset a Filipina, which is easily done, and she reports you, Date in Asia will just shut you down without reason or appeal, which is pretty frustrating. So be warned. Okay, so I'm currently active on Tinder, Badu, Pina Love, Bumble, and OkCupid. Okay on most of these apps, I swipe left 95 times out of 100. I think the apps go through waves of popularity where one app will perform better for you than the others. Badu works much like Tinder, where you can swipe left or right in the encounters section. You can only message, however, someone you've matched with. But I find I'm matching with far more Filipinas on Badu than I am on Tinder. There's also an option to check who's nearby. But you're unable to chat with them unless you pay for chat credits. However, those profiles highlighted in the nearby section will also appear in the encounters section eventually. You just have to be patient. Like the other apps, there's a limit to how many swipes you can do over a period of time. So you might be locked out for the next 12 hours. Like Tinder, you also have the option of unlocking those who liked you and you may have missed by subscribing. But better than Tinder, you have a cheaper option of, of subscribing for just a week if you want to. Whereas with Tinder, the shortest subscription is a monthly plan. So you could just sign up for a week to see who liked you, but as with Tinder, you've probably swiped left on most of the ones who've liked you anyway. I quite like Badu, having successfully met a few girls on it. 
Natalie Sandoval. Now, Hope Sandoval was a singer. What was that band Hope Sandoval was in? What a great singer she was. I hate stingy and naughty person. That means she wants you to take her out for dinner every night. How about Annie? Annie at 20. Come on, let's get a match. <laughs> no to perverts. Oh well. <laughs> Cat wiener. Come on, I need to get a match. I'm not switching off until I get a match. They're all, they're all on that boat. They're all taking photographs on that boat. Oh, she missed a match, obviously. Nearby, who's nearby? So you can scroll through these and see who's nearby. Um, you can't actually chat with those nearby because you need to, if you want to chat with them, you need to pay money. So, nearby. You can't actually chat with those nearby because you need to subscribe. There we go. You need to sign up, pay some money for nearby. After the past however long, these are all the girls that like me, who I've got no idea what they look like. I've actually had maybe 300 likes at some point on Badoo. So, Jen. She lives nearby, give her a go. So over the years I've been in the Philippines, I've had most success on Badu and Pina Love. You do get a lot of scammers on here, obviously, but you do get a lot of scammers on all of the websites anyway. What's going on with Kian? What's that? Oh god, I roar like a fly and fly like an eagle. She can go and fly like an eagle. Stevie Miller Band. Slightly thick. Oh, Erica looks quite nice. Fun and neat and loving girl. Yes, Erica looks lovely. Let's have a bit of Erica. Who's this with her dark glasses on? They're yeah, not actually dark glasses on at the time. She's filtered that in. I wonder why that is. Okay, let's give her a go. No. <laughs> Andrea. Bella. I haven't got any matches yet. <laughs> Come on, gotta get one match. Oh! Gianna Rose, already got children. What such she's wearing? Very strange, anyway. Celine. What I've overcome. Always makes me laugh. When I first started using Pina Love, I didn't really rate this app very much. The beauty about Pina Love is that you can message girls you haven't matched with, so you can have instant conversations. But as a non-paying member, you're limited to one message every 10 minutes. So if you message a girl and she responds with an insipid hi, then you have 10 minutes to wait before you can respond to her. On my profile I have added, can only message every 10 minutes, so please write more than hi. And then when I message someone I'll say, please read my profile before responding. A Filipina will message me, hi, she says. 
Did you read my profile? I ask. Yes. <laughs> Other times I'll ask, do you have WhatsApp? Yes, they'll say. <laughs> then I'll have to wait another 10 minutes before I can message again asking for her number. On Pina Love, there's also a show interest button if someone likes your profile. I've had numerous girls showing interest on me, but as soon as I write to them, the majority don't even bother responding to my message. So I don't really see the point. More recently, those showing interest have been more likely pay girls or trans. You'll also find with Pina Love that the desktop and smartphone versions of the app are different. On the mobile version, the more a profile has been clicked on, they will become popular. So when you click on it, you'll be directed to a payment link saying you can only contact our most popular members by coughing up cash. But you can get around this by typing their name into the username search bar where their profile will come up without the popular limitation on it. So you can message them without having to pay. It's quite nice. Anyway, oh, somebody liked me. Haru, haru, haru. She likes me. She's in Kazon City. Okay, sorry. Haru, haru, haru. You're not for me. There's also another quirk with Pina Love, which I'm not too sure about. Clicking on most profiles, you can see how far away a person's location is from you. But on various profiles, it locates them as 8,287 miles away, which is certainly not in the Philippines. Now, it says she's 8,283 miles away. Is this a made-up account by a spammer? Oh, I think it is. I think this is a spammer. 8,000, because it doesn't actually say where she is in the Philippines. But it says she's 8,283 miles away, which would put her not in the Philippines. Either that's a technical error <laughs> with Pina Love, or that's a scammer, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Or other times, you type a username into the search bar and you'll be told, this profile does not exist which is strange as they've just shown interest in you, apparently. Are these fake accounts? And who has created them? Pina Love does cater for its fair share of pay girls, trans and scammers, like all of the dating websites, but I have had my most number of successes from Pina Love. I go on to Pina Love via my notifications. My old web app. Hi, you here in the Philippines? Well, <laughs> on my profile, it says I'm here in the Philippines. So <sighs> it always amuses me when that happens. When was this? Nice meeting you, good afternoon. Did you finish work yet? Yeah, that is like an automated, uh, <laughs> I have IG. Beautiful with a heart. One photo. Five foot 10, 76 kilograms. <laughs> well, I'm five foot 11 and a half and I'm 70 kilograms. So that's a no go from the start, young lady. Bye bye. She's liked me, as we'll see. <laughs> She's already sent me a message, I think. Hi. I didn't think any of the other apps in the Philippines would be useful until I met my Spanish buddy who swore by Bumble and OkCupid. 
I previously used OkCupid in Cebu and had got scammed. You might have seen that video. So I'm not really keen on OkCupid and also not really keen on OkCupid interface. Like the other apps, you can swipe like or dislike and also send an intro which will give you a better chance of matching, depending on what you say, of course. After an initial contact has been made, conversations have never gone anywhere for me on OkCupid. Although I have had a Filipina send me an intro and taken me out for lunch, which is a first. Right, I see. Single with two kids, no thanks. Just send me a message, darling. Darling, just send me a message. Oh, look at Bell. Can't see likes. What does Bell say? Curvy. I can't see likes. Please message me. I'm an outgoing person. Talk on these two. Bell catch. So there you go. My love. <laughs> now there's a face. <laughs> a bit better. Oh, she's got a dog. She's not into hookups. She looks good in a basque. My forever best friend. Four cute dogs for her mum. Miles. Just want love. Arcee. Arcee Lind. Nice rack. Curvy Arcee Lind. Um, what's that? She loves what she loves? Sibo. She's too far away. Oh, look at Angela. We match 89%. PJ, General Luna, well that's a long, I'm a trans woman, oops, I think how many super likes you get, I think you get one every 24 hours or something, not very many at all, but you can buy them, Melody, ah, Melody, who's into tanks, I don't know why I'm here, I don't know why you're here either, I'm a foodie, right, Gary, There we go. There's Anne Marie. On a yacht. Anne Marie's on a yacht. <laughs> it's, Anne Marie's not shallow. She likes a man with a yacht. There we go. My message is. Oh. These are my matches. <laughs> Trusting friend. The nice purple teddy. Uh, I can't bother with that. Left or right? Don't really like that. Uh, Hennessy. Hennessy looks nice. Gosh, look at Hennessy. She's in the car to the event model. 
What does she say? What does Hennessy say? Now I'll be back home in USA this November. I'm in Philippines now. Okay, well... <laughs> that's not gonna happen, is it? I'm gonna like her anyway, but... I uh, can't be bothered with that. So let's get out of that. Here at BWC, Uncle doesn't charge a subscription fee like Auntie does, but buying us a coffee would be much appreciated. Thank you. If you don't know the Bumble app, the USP of this app is that once you've matched with a female, it's down to her to make the first move and initiate the conversation. Filipinas on their Bumble profiles, however, will say, I'm not one to make the first move. So you're unable to contact or connect with them here. Or they'll say, not active here, message me on Insta, which you do and they ignore. In fact, as I said earlier, it's a common theme on most of these apps with them saying, I'm not active here, but so message me on Instagram on, or, or Snapchat. I'm always wary of profiles where the person's WhatsApp or Telegram is readily available. Numerous times I've messaged someone on WhatsApp or Telegram and had no response. At times, as soon as I've messaged someone on WhatsApp, they've unmatched me on the dating app, as if they were just out to get my WhatsApp number. Although, I'm unclear what the point of that is. I'd rather ask them for their Facebook or Instagram details. Most Filipinas will have at least one Facebook account, if not six. If they say, they don't have Facebook. I'm generally pretty wary of that. I do think you find a better class of female on Bumble, however. Seems to be more sophisticated than the other apps. Maybe it's the fact that the female has the upper hand whether to contact you or not. But in that respect, I also find a lot of girls working in KTV lounges on Bumble who message you first saying, would you like to come and drink with me tonight? I know exactly why, but I played them along for a bit saying how flattered I am that they've chosen me to match with and want to drink with me. With one I recently matched with, she said she'd repeatedly say, the question is, are you coming or not? Which I would ignore and ask her other questions until I eventually replied, the question is, do you just match with guys on Bumble to go to your lounge? She responded saying, you don't have to be rude, which I wasn't. I tried to respond to her, but she'd already blocked me. Oh, Ella, Ella, Ella. Yes, look if someone can visit me at the bar, I want you to go and meet them there and buy them drinks. They won't meet you outside work, they will only meet you in their KTV bar. I've matched with many girls on different apps working in KTV bars. I tell them early on that I'll only meet them outside of work. Some of them will continue messaging me for a couple of days as if their only intention is not to get me to go to their KTV lounge. But after a short time, they will abruptly stop messaging when they realise they're wasting their time with me. Ella, what's that? She sucks. Oh. Oh, she sucks on Bell Bellarum. Okay. I'm glad she cleared that up. Not here for hookups. Oh dear, I mean. Now, George, something casual. Bella Bella. Bellana Bread on IG. So this does attract more educated ladies, also quite geeky ladies, but also ladies who go to the gym. <laughs> when 
when I was in Cebu, I never met many ladies who went to the gym. But when I've, since I've been in Manila, there are far more ladies who exercise. Something casual. Now, I'm not fond of tattoos. I'm not fond of sleeves. Especially on the legs. Rita, I think Luna. I've seen Luna. Where have I seen Luna? Luna looks like um, a large lady. Gone for that. Oh dear. Anyway, Cynthia. Nothing interesting. And also, I've said before, in their profiles when they write. <laughs> Nothing interesting about me. Also, why you swiped right then never talk to me at all? Just why? Well, you're, you're meant to make the first move. And she lives miles away, so... Also on Bumble, a lot of nerdy girls and there is a, a lot of, um, how should I say it? Thick girls. Um, said it quickly. I'm here for serious relationship. <sighs> Petite, 37. She goes to the gym. Good. Adele, 38. Now, what is she? Not Filipina, looking for serious relationship. Where is she from? Let's match chat and never talk again. It's, it's good. It's a good point actually. Um, what? In, who's in Boracay until tomorrow? Not me, thank goodness. Kaylee, nice specs, Kaylee. So I haven't got any matches yet. <laughs> Turning Japanese. And, and you're a trans, yes, I thought so. Gee. We're all familiar with Tinder, which has been around for over 10 years now and revolutionized dating. Although I've had numerous matches on Tinder, which I've followed up with a conversation opener, the majority don't bother responding. For me, it's full of ladyboys and girls promoting their OnlyFans pages. A lot of females now don't actually use the swipe facilities, they just put a link to their Insta account saying, I don't use this app, message me on Insta. When you check their Insta, they've got no posts on Insta. They, they just want you to message them on there. Or maybe they're just after new followers on their page, which has got no posts. Beats me. On Tinder, they've removed the capability of sending a picture within a message, which is pretty annoying, but you can do this on Badoo. I only had one date from Tinder when I lived in Cebu. I matched with a 21 year old with a perfect bikini body. I didn't think she was real. Even after she sent me her WhatsApp number two days later, I still thought she was a scammer. But after video calling her and finding out she was actually real, we arranged to meet during the week at SM Seaside and met up at the Sky Park on the roof terrace. When I walked up to her, she had a face mask on and immediately started walking away towards the food court as if she didn't want to be associated with me. Said she was shy and spent the 20 minutes waiting for our food to arrive, hiding behind her phone. I would have loved to have checked out her bikini body, but her bad attitude and bad facial acne was such a turn off. After she'd been fed, she immediately fled. And I wasn't that bothered, really. I was just a meal ticket. We never spoke again. As an unpaid member, Tinder will tell you how many likes you've got. 
suggesting you sign up for Tinder Gold. But when you do, you realise these are the girls you swipe left on for a reason, and you wasted your money anyway. The best thing about Tinder Gold is the passport feature, where you can swipe anywhere in the world if you're planning on heading that way. I currently know guys in the Philippines with Tinder success stories. It worked for me previously in Thailand, but just hasn't been fruitful for me in the Philippines. Not as fruitful as Badu and Pinder Love have been for me. So let's just show you what's on offer here. On Tinder, Two kids divorced. <laughs> Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. Caring man who is better than a handsome man. Mean. Why is she so mean? Passai, be good, do good. I'm not going to get any uh, likes. I'm not going to get any decent swipes here, I know. I think this is a transgender. Keith. <laughs> you see Keith as a female name a lot in the Philippines actually. So a lot of Filipinas of, well, if this is a Filipina, <laughs> and profile names will use their name backwards, which is quite funny. I actually had one girl, I messaged one girl having worked out her name because it wasn't, it wasn't rocket science. How did you know my name? Fucking hell. Oh geez. Maurice. Baby, baby, baby. What does baby say? Trustworthy, friendly and good listener. Well that's me, yeah. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk on IG. Now taking the applications for a boyfriend. Snuggles and fluent in compliments. And I've seen Anna before. I've never seen Anna before. Oh, I've spoken to Anna. I think I spoke to Anna when I was in Cebu. I did. I definitely spoke to Anna when I was in Cebu. Very strange. Jen. She has children. And don't want more. <laughs> Michelle, very nice Michelle, looking for new friends, doesn't want me as a new friend, Nicole sitting on the swing, Diane, Jude, simple girl and have kind art, message me on Instagram, or not. Oh, how do you pronounce her name? Jade. Normally still figuring it out means um, that they're a bloke. Aria. New friends. Be my friend, Gwen. I don't want your dick pic. Why not? Now, Ligaya. She looks like she's been to Japan. Looks like she's got a moustache as well. Short turn, open to long. Very nice sunset there, Gwyneth. Apple. New here. Now, is Apple a boy or a girl? Oh, maybe she's a girl. <laughs> um, Tiffany. Oh, hey there, I'm Tiffany. Well, I'm not working, pretty busy with singing, camping and cooking. Okay, nice personalities. Dom girl. 
what do you do in your free time? Well, I'm heading to yours, Tiffany. And I may prefer honest people not into a hookup. Less of the glamorous way. She wants a long term partner. Not gonna be me. Happy birthday, Faye. Agatha, unbothered. No, I, it really amazes me when they've got this attitude where in their profile they actually put right nothing about me unbothered. Thank you. BB, somewhere we want material things. I just want peace, happy times with someone that loves me. Simple moments, but sincere. What's she doing? <laughs> And there's with her bestie. Love you forever. I'll love you forever, BB. Not Kazi. <laughs> now in the UK, we call the toilet the Kazi. <laughs> so Fiona's on the Kazi. The new word for chubby is thick. Not slim, just thick. But then she's got long legs taken from the bottom lives in Naga. Someone to talk to, I prefer Tito's age. Anyway. <laughs> JB, Vic Firth, what are they? It cringes me why people don't know why they're here. People nowadays are confused and disorientated. Disoriented. 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 <laughs> I want to see myself someday committed with someone that has matured plans. Why are you wearing a face mask on a dating app? That's one, two. Oh, that's why. Another one. Why are you wearing a face mask on a dating app? Why are you hiding behind your phone? I've got braces now. Oh dear. Another one. How many? Have you seen? Got the face mask. Oh, that's why. Oh, oh dear, a sleeve, a sleeve. Is that a real sleeve or not a real sleeve? Is that a pretend sleeve? No, it's a real sleeve. Sleeves on ladies. Oh. Yes, it's a sleeve. No thanks. Just a quick reminder to please click the thumbs up button if you liked the video, or thumbs down button if you didn't. Obviously. Thank you. I've been using dating apps for many years and it's become even more apparent how quickly ghosting happens. You could spend a couple of hours texting with a girl one day and the next day she's already moved on to someone else. Which I guess is a sign of the times. How people's attention spans are so limited now. Nobody wants to sit through the director's cut of a movie if they can watch the same movie that only lasts 15 minutes. Andy Warhol once said, everyone will be famous for 15 minutes. But TikTok has ruined that. People will only give you five seconds nowadays before moving on. It just feels so much harder making a decent connection nowadays. been watching uncle the man from big world cinema please like and subscribe and send cash